Today I want to share with you guys all of the read alouds that we did in our homeschool. This is our second year of homeschooling, 2014-2015 um, school year. These are all of our chapter book read alouds and my daughter was in first grade and she was six years old and I just wanted to show these to you guys. So the first book we read was The Courage of Sarah Noble and I don't have that one to show you so we'll just get right to the next one. Um, we read next All of a Kind Family by Sydney Taylor and this book is about five sisters and their parents and they're a Jewish family in New York about a hundred years ago. Very interesting and we really really enjoyed it and there's also three or four more books um, after this in the series if you like this one. So we really enjoyed that one. The next book we read was The Cricket in Times Square by George Selden and the illustrations are by Garth Williams. So this is about a little cricket and a mouse and a cat and Mario and his family and it's it's very interesting and there's also another book or two that go in this series if you like the first one then you'll probably enjoy the ones that come after so again this is um, the cricket in Times Square next we read we read understood Betsy and this one um, we enjoyed it but I think it was a little too advanced for my daughter, who was just six at the time, like I said. So I probably would wait a bit to read this one um, if I did it over again. I'd probably wait till maybe third, third, fourth, fifth grade to read this one. But we still enjoyed it anyway. So this was written also about 100 years ago. So interesting book. And then next, I'm sorry about the stickers on this one, but Homer Price by Robert McCl McCloskey. And he, um, he wrote Make Way for Ducklings. So you might have heard of that one. So um, this was written in the 40s. And I just love the illustrations in here. They're just fun stories. And the kids just love these. And I remember reading this when I was a kid too. This donut story in here. I specifically remember because they made like a million donuts. So they're just kind of funny stories and it kind of gives you a picture of life back in the 40s. Um, and they're just great. Fun and silly and we really enjoyed the Homer Price stories and there's also a second one as well after that. So the next book we read was Benjamin West and his cat Grimalkin by Marguerite Henry and Wesley Dennis. So this is based on a true story um, of Benjamin West and he became um, like a painter and an artist. So this is about when he was young and how he came to be an artist. He's from a Quaker family and his family was opposed to him doing art, especially doing portraits. So. It's a lot of illustrations, and it was very interesting. The kids, the kids enjoy this one, and I find it it's always interesting to read um, chapter books that are based on real people and real events. So Benjamin West and his cat Grimalkin. The next book we read was Misty of Chincoteague by Marguerite Henry as well. Love this series. Oh dear. So lots of illustrations, and this is a horse story. Marguerite Henry wrote a lot of horse stories, and most of them are based on true events. So this is based on true events. It is fictionalized, um, of course, somewhat, but the people in the story were real. The horses were real, the ponies. So um, some parts are quite exciting in this, and there's a movie based off of this book, too. And then we read um, Stormy Misty's Foal, which is actually the third book. This is the first, then there's one that goes in between, and this is the third, and I didn't know there was another one. So we just read this one next. Very exciting. This is about the island when there was a hurricane one time. And so, very interesting. Um, again, a horse story that's based on true events. So that's Stormy Misty's Fool. And then next we read um, On the Banks of Plum Creek, Little House Book. So we had already read the first two. 
This one is the, actually we had already read the first three, so this one is the fourth one, and we just, we really enjoy this series and love how they're based on real people and real events. Again, Garth Williams did the drawings. We love learning about how things were in the past, and it's just interesting too. So that was what we read next. And the last thing we read, let me see, I think I read another one. Yeah, we read the sequel to A Cricket in Times Square, which was called Tucker's Countryside. And then lastly, we read Hitty, Her First Hundred Years. Now this one we actually quit. Um, let's see when this was written, 1929. Um, it was just kind of hard for my daughter to understand at six years old. I think if I reread it, to her today, she would understand it perfectly fine. But she was, you know, only six, and it is an older book. Um, but it is very interesting. It's about a doll and her first hundred years and all of the adventures she had and the various girls that she belonged to. So that is what we read in our second year of homeschool for my daughter for sec no first grade when she was six years old. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and please let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite chapter books that you have read in your homeschool so we can all get some ideas about what we could use in our homeschool. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.